50. Uh, heading towards my high of 28 degrees today. Barbara's 29. Well, you know, we will see who gets there. Uh, in fact, I do feel that maybe Barbara might actually win it. It is Monday, February 28th, and uh, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and I've got to welcome along everybody that's joining us this morning on Facebook Live. Uh, if you're going to watch this a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? Yeah, sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, and get epileptic on that thumb thing, won't you? A bell, uh, notifications when we have important people like this. Come on, subscribe, you know what to do. Yes, you do. And believe me, you're going to love this, but first of all, let me do this. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and Sony Music Day Watcher. So happy to be a part, and uh, well, in conjunction with uh, Rise Up TV, Sony Music, The Orchard, and also Big Record as well. Uh, and Mark and Pamela and all the guys there working tirelessly, including Tim, uh, to make that happen. It is an absolute pleasure to be with you guys today. It really, really is. In the meantime, today we're catching up with good friend of ours, yes, Clayton Bellamy. Uh, he is formally, not formally, he's still working with the band, yeah, the Road Hammers, legendary band in his own right. But today, of course, we're promoting his other band, The Congregation. I asked him once upon a time, can I be a member of the congregation? He goes, yeah, absolutely. So, here we are, right here at Galaxy, with a brand new song for him, Lie to Me, here at Galaxy. <laughs> How are we feeling? Good, man, I love to hear that. You feel good. <laughs> Believe me, bro. I have been looking forward to catching up for a while now, my bro. Yeah, me too, me too. It's been a while. I'm, I'm glad to see you guys are rocking and rolling still and, and, and growing. That's great news. Oh, believe me, bro. We have... Um, exp it's gone exponential, if you, if you want to put it like that. We've just um, taken off. And, and we're very, very proud to be with Rise Up TV. Um, and a good friend of ours, he uh, has a show on, on there as well, uh, the Don Pearson show, or Don Pierce show. Uh, hey everyone. He does a lot there. Right nice all this time. Sean's on with us. Nice to have you on board, Sean Simpson. It's nice to have you back again. And Lemoyne Alexander. <laughs> How are you, my bro? Thank you for good. joining us. Yeah, send us new music, Lemoyne. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hi Peter. Uh, don't... Oh, Peter's with us as well. Nice, Peter Hoffman. Uh, don't forget, Clayton, we'll give you a copy of everything we do today. Um, but Perfect. Just one question. Have you ever been made a cartoon before? Have we made I you a cartoon? Been, I've, been, I've been a lot of things, but I have not ever been a cartoon. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. You're going to be now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Barbara puts all the photos and then puts this interview all together in a movie and stuff like that. You'll get a copy of that and then she converts it all into a cartoon. It's one of the few things, Clayton, that makes me look good. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I mean, I've got a perfect face for radio. <laughs> you, and, you and me both, bro. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I think you're a far more talented man than I will ever be. I appreciate that. Thank you. Right. I can't wait to see you live on stage. I can't wait to press flesh. You know what I mean? Yeah, me too. I, I sure hope that we can, we can get out there. Uh, we're going to be heading over to Spain. Well, we could talk about it in the interview. We're going to be heading over to Spain with the Roadhammers um, this summer. But uh, I would love to come to New Zealand. If there was any chance of getting out there, I would, uh, I would jump at it. Maybe a chance. Just bear with me. Let's have a let's have a chat.
damn good music. Let me put that right there on the table straight away. And believe me, it's music to drive fast to. I know. I play it in my car. Absolutely brilliant to be joined today by Clayton Bellamy uh, from the congregation. We will talk about the road hammers as we uh, get through it. But from the congregation this morning with, of course, Lie to Me, a brain spanking new song. Clayton, it's an absolute pleasure to have you back, my bro. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks for spinning the song. It feels so good to hear it on the radio. Uh, look, we play it a lot. We really, really do. We have you in a number of shows, and uh, you do get a lot of requests. But I've got to be honest with you, Clayton. Uh, the two tracks that we are and about to play, of course, Lie to Me, and we're also going to talk about... Uh, the soundtrack for the end of the world, which is kind of worrying, if you know what I mean. I'm going to go out listening to that, but okay, I'm loving that as well. Uh, but, my friend, believe me, we absolutely love your music here, and you're getting a few requests. As I say, uh, we haven't actually said who it was. We've just played it, and, well, what do you know? Everybody wanted to know who, what, when, where, how. When are we going to do the interview? So here we are, my friend. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Now, I'm, I'm digging the hair. I really am. Uh, I normally see you with it all tied up and stuck away, don't I? Yeah, well, I just stopped cutting it over over the course of the pandemic, so now I have long hair. It was actually really short before. <laughs> okay, well, that explains that. It really does. Uh, Margarita Deco is uh, with us as well. Nice to have you on board, Margarita. And Terry Ashley. Ah, oh, man. Love to see you, my bro. I really, really do. Uh, talking to you? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, Terry Ashley is... Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I get it. Uh, I thought it was uh, Terry Van Cannon, to be honest. I read it wrong. Uh, but uh, Terry Ashley, nice to have you on board, darling. Anyway, Clayton, my man, we opened up the show with Lie To Me. This is a brand spanking new song going through the roof right now. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, I, I wrote put this with uh, my uh, longtime creative partner and, and action co-producer Dan Davidson and uh, another fellow named Johnny Fox from a band called The Standstills, which uh, are incredible live band, are, are good friends of ours. And uh, the three of us, um, in, in, in a matter of two days, we wrote this song and we wrote another song that uh, actually The Standstills have recorded called Pretty Little Broken Thing that's going to be out next week um, all around the world. So it was a productive couple of days. We really, uh, you know, we, we hit gold when we, the three of us got in the room together. And, and this song just really, uh, really spoke to me. And it, it was the, uh, the first kind of release uh, for the, the new congregation record. We did a video of it uh, here in my hometown and, uh, and, and filmed a, uh, took three days and filmed this crazy video, and uh, and that's what you get. It's lie to me. You know, uh, you're going to have to uh, get hold of the standstills and get them to pass music our way. We would be honoured to play it, uh, maybe even set up an interview. You, you know, we would love to be able to do that. Absolutely, I'd love to. I'd love for you, for you to meet uh, Johnny and his wife. For that, they're they're an incredible couple and and uh, a killer band. Very, very cool. I'm, I'm absolutely excited, I am. Uh, Franco Nanucci is joining us. Uh, welcome on board, Franco. It's nice to have you back, my bro. And congratulations with you and Denroy Morgan. Uh, heading over to Jamaica very, very shortly. Looking forward to following all of that. I really, really am. And uh, I have another friend of ours, uh, also a Jamaican, that you may be interested in talking to as well. His name's Milton. You will love him. Uh, but having said that, I'm kind of worried about you know, the end of the world. Now, <laughs> uh, this is the soundtrack to the end of the world. This is the name of it that I have here. I'm thinking, OMG. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain this to me? Uh, believe me, is this really going to be the soundtrack to the end of the world? Well, good Lord, I hope not. Uh, you know, but I'm sure in the last couple of years, we've all probably felt a little bit like that. And I think that this song and a lot of the songs on this record, you know, it might be a little darker than the first record, mostly because of the situation that we were all in and the things that we were all trying to process. And, and as an artist, that just kind of comes out through the pen. You know, it's uh, you internalize it and then you and then you try and, and filter it through the, through your experience. Um, but at the same time, you know, don't let the the, the title fool you. 
it's it's still a song that rallies against the end of the world. Uh, it rallies against that feeling where it, you know, what the lyric is saying, I won't stand, I won't sit down, I won't, I, I won't, you know, I won't die young, I won't sit down, I won't die young, you know, I want no regrets and no wasted breath when it's said and done. You know, that is kind of the way that I live my life and that, that was the sentiment of the song that, you know, just because things are bad, doesn't mean you have to lay down and take it, you know, that we can collectively come together, love one another, be stronger together, make a difference in this world, and change the things that we don't like. If we see something that we want changed, then we can change it. You know, uh, I'm right there with you. I understand exactly what you're saying there. Uh, Raqu uh, Ra Raquel, Raquel uh, coming out of Sydney, is asking... Uh, uh, and I'm sure I've asked you this myself in the past. How do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? Uh, but more importantly, Clayton, do you respond? Absolutely. Yeah, I respond to all of my fans personally. Uh, you can find me at Clayton Bellamy on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, also on Twitter, at Clayton Bellamy, uh, if you're on there. Or on TikTok. TikTok, I'm not really great at. But... Uh, <laughs> But those other platforms I'm on all the time. I'm always posting. I'm always doing Facebook Lives and, and, and want to connect with my fans. And, and, and love Sydney, love Australia. Uh, been over there three times now, touring with the Road Hammers. And actually have a, a, a top ten right now with a, a singer named Haley Jensen uh, with a song that we wrote called um, Better Than That, which is just blowing up the charts in Australia. And... Uh, we also did a duet together called Four Boots Under the Bed that uh, was a lot of fun, so if you get a chance, check that out. Will do, absolutely. At the same time, uh, just a very, very quick suggestion now that you know and you're familiar with Sydney, uh, and believe me, I'm very familiar with Sydney, I've stayed there many, many times, why haven't you hopped over the ditch and come and visited, you know, poor old Aotearoa? I know. Well, listen, it hasn't been for lack of trying, but as soon as we have a show, we are going to be there, whether it's with the Roadhammers or myself solo or, or with, the, with the congregation. Um, you know, I'm just waiting for the chance. Actually, my, I was talking to or saying that this artist, Haley Jensen, the other day, and, I, and I'm just waiting for the opportunity so that I can move there and spend half my winter in, in your neck of the woods and then summer here in Canada because winter sucks out here. Well, oh, believe me, I get it. I really do. You know, if it's down to about 10 degrees in here, I'm turning the heater on. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So believe me, uh, I get it. I, I wouldn't like the 50 below kind of deal. That, yeah. And you're in yeah, Ottawa. You're in Ottawa, aren't you? No, I'm in Alberta. No, I'm in Alberta. I mean, uh, I'm on the, on the western side of the country. Uh, in northern Alberta, and there's there's about uh, three and a half feet of snow right now, and it's probably a, about minus 15 degrees with the wind, so it, it's awfully cold. Yeah, no, you can keep that stuff, believe me. That's no, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing the wool, hoop, wool hat. Yeah, well, believe me, sometimes I wear those all year round anyway. <laughs> uh, otherwise, people wouldn't recognise me. <laughs> I've got a stripey one, that everybody knows. Having said that, uh, and we would love to have you here in New Zealand, and uh, we do have my, maybe, just maybe, the way to be able to do it. And uh, I want to introduce you to some folks uh, from Rise Up TV that may be very, very interested in having a chat to you about maybe doing a Canadian tour. Uh, and these guys are talking to me, literally, about if we do Canadian tours, why can't we do a world tour? You know what I'm saying? Hey, count me in. Yeah, and, and I'm just saying, well, how the hell are you going to get that bus around the world, especially down here in New Zealand? They want to bring this bus with them. Believe me, very interesting. Uh, and the road trips, literally... Uh, they have their own film crews and everything go around with you. You never know. You might get filmed sleeping. Or maybe even... Well, I, I, I sleep in my birthday suit, so it could be... A, you know, they could get more than a gamble for. <laughs> well, they could be outstanding first thing in the morning, couldn't they? <laughs> anyway, let's do the soundtrack to the end of the world right here. And it is, of course... The Congregation with Clayton Bellamy. I believe 
Ah, dear idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, dear idea. Hey, um, Clayton, have I ever asked you if you're a vegan? Uh, no, you haven't, but I, I am not. I, I eat everything. Okay, you're a meatologist like me? Yeah. Cool. No, it's just that I really do ask everybody because uh, have you ever tried a vegan sausage? Uh, I believe that I have. Have you? Were they made of real vegans? Vegetables, yes. I think it was. <laughs> vegetables, she goes. <laughs> you know the hardest thing about cooking vegetables, don't you, Barbara? Yeah, you've got to eat them. Right <laughs> Getting right the wheelchairs in the oven. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Ken. Hey, Ken. Nice to have you on board, brother man. Yeah, we've got to talk about uh, yeah. WTOB. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We really have to talk about Hi, that. Hi, Terry. Terry Van Cannon, and you see, he Terry likes, Van Cannon, he, he heard us. He, li he likes um, Clayton. He loves Clayton. Mm. Yep, I like his attitude. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Terry Van Hello. Cannon comes out of North Carolina. Um, the man is a master at the slide steel. Brilliant. Fantastic. You know, even builds his own. He really does. I've got a lot of respect for the man. I really do. And um, no, follow me on Instagram. I want to hear him. Yeah, I will do. Well, I, think oh, I can you, introduce them. Yeah, um, Barbara says she, she'll introduce you. Anyway, let's go back to the desk. <laughs> According to Clayton, and, and I quote here, this isn't sex, drugs and rock and roll, it's more peace, love, understanding, no mungings, uh, and rock and roll as well. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this music, my friend. Are you right now, especially with this COVID deal going on right now, are you writing more? Are you recording more? Absolutely. We're already on uh, record three right now, which is really exciting. I uh, want to keep the ball rolling. There's been a lot of momentum, thanks to, to folks like you, uh, spreading the gospel of the congregation. You know, the, uh, the, the, the phones have been ringing, getting booked off the hook with the band, and, and the, the, here in Canada, the, the single has been rocketing up the active rock charts. We've been uh, sitting at the, you know, we're as high as 24 from the latest single soundtrack to the end of the world. So it's really exciting, and uh, we're just going to want to keep that momentum rolling. Well, I kind of gather that maybe, just maybe, I might be getting more new music. Therefore, you might be coming back a uh, long time between drinks. I hope it's a little sooner this time. What do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, there's, there's a lot more songs on this latest record that we're going to be releasing here come springtime. Uh, and the album right now is slated to be uh, fully released April 29th. Uh, so there's going to be uh, there's th three or four more tracks on that uh on that disc and then uh, we'll be right back into the studio in the fall to, to start on the next one. You know, that really is exciting. Tim Steinreich is joining us as well. Nice to have you on board, brother man. And uh, uh, Tim is also to do with Rise Up TV, big record, Sony Music, The Orchard. Uh, nice to have you with us, my friend. It really, really is. Now, at the same time, Clayton, um, having said that you're going back into the studio and you're going to be doing more new music and you're going to be coming back again, uh, I'd love to, love to be able to follow you a little bit more. Uh, really, really would. In the meantime, we would love it if you would maybe put a, a fresh uh, voiceover for us together. What do you reckon? Uh, introducing yourself on Galaxy 107 FM. Uh, maybe not in somebody's bedroom this time, though, uh, but just as far. Absolutely, I'm sure we can do that. 
Very cool. We'd love to be able to get get more on. Uh, it's all about promoting the congregation, if you know what I mean, and getting that word out there as much as possible. Believe me, bands around the world absolutely love your work. They really do. Tina is joining us as well. Nice to have you on board, darling. I hope you had a very happy birthday the other day, and uh, happy happy birthday for us as well. Anyway, we are going to have to move on. Unfortunately, we do have other bands that we're going to be talking to this morning, and believe me, you're going to love them as well. Uh, so hang in there, my friend. We're just going to switch over to the other studio, but thank you so much for joining us. It has been an absolute pleasure to be able to get uh, this interview done. Finally, we've, yeah, it's been a little while, and I'm, I'm enjoying catching up with you. But in the meantime, uh, Galaxy is very, very proud to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, and... Sony Music, The Orchard, got to say hi to all the hard-working crew there, including Mark, Pamela, Lisa, Tim, the dog, and it goes on, it really does, and Jenny. Here we go. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV. 